All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, we are going to the to the uh, uh, next type, which is uh, alias. And alias, uh, uh, if you remember, we discussed in the in the SQL language uh, where we uh, give a particular name or label to to uh, to our expression or or the column. So the same concept apply in here. The only difference is in the in the uh, in the bash language, the alias is is. Uh, uh, an additional label or name of the of the command. So let me give you a couple of scenario where it is really helpful. One of the scenario, like I mentioned, if you really have a big commands or really complicated function, uh, and you want to call that function uh, by you know just typing a, a, a one word or or a, a specific word you can use alias because that will encapsulate the whole command uh, under under that label right so that that's really helpful because you don't need to type the, the long command again and again right so that that that's where we we, we really can see the the uh, the usage of alias and obviously sometimes you know we come from different environment and you want to standardize the command so let me give you one example so for example on the dos we have let me just see uh let me just try something yeah no uh, not working let me see three plus two is working no it's not working so now i want to clear the screen and thus we have the cls command that clear the screen but in in uh batch cell cls is not working so what i'm going to do i'm just going to define my alias of cls is equal to clear all right, so what it's going to do, it will clear the screen. So now if I just run CLS, so you can see uh, we, we have the, uh, we have the, uh, the clear command executing behind uh, my, uh, uh, my own defined command. So that, that's another way to, you know, to customize your shell environment. And that's very useful once you start, you know, putting your own environment uh, uh, based on your own, uh, uh, you know, uh, standards that you have defined uh, across your platform. Because obviously this, this technology you are going to use to manage the DevOps uh, infrastructure environment as well as the cloud environment. So sometimes you prefer, okay, I have my own language and I want to use that language to to do things so that that's where the alias really uh, are helpful now let me uh, uh, show you uh, another uh, usage so for example i just want to history and in the history i'm only want i'm interested into uh, into alias so i'm just doing crep crep is more like the uh, uh, global regular expression pattern we just extract that word uh, from from the the information that you are interested in and it's going to show you all those lines uh, or all those uh, 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 data uh, uh, set that, that contain that particular uh, 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 term or, or the information that you are looking very powerful concept especially from the searching perspective so i'm interested at the moment alias in this case so you can see in all my history i have three lines that uh, that has this word and if i just show you my full history you're gonna see a bunch of you know I have almost 600 lines of history which I've executed, but out of those, only three lines. So let me go to CLS, which is another alias. And now, by the way, in the last video, we have seen that we can see the the the, the type of uh, uh, any any command that we are executing in shell. So now, if I just type CLS, uh, type CLS, it's going to say CLS is alias to uh, clear. It's, it is exactly the same like once we type LS. So you can see LS is alias to LS dash dash color is equal to auto. Even you know what I can do? I'm just, uh, let me just see if I can override it. Alias, LS. Is equal to uh, ls and i'm just going to color is equal to uh, let's say blue i think blue is better all right now it has uh defined and if i now do uh cannot access color or no such file or directory all right so then that's that's something i need to look at because uh, it is uh, uh, not accepting the color it is looking uh, 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 for for some other code which we'll see later on uh, if we want to change the color uh, what i'm going to do now i'm just going to revert it so now 
alias is going to be ls is equal to ls minus auto sorry color is going to be yeah okay. So now if I do it, yeah, I'm, uh, my functionality, it's right. It's always be better if you want, if we want to override the existing uh, alias, which is part of the batch cell, you just need to take uh, the backup of the existing command. So if for somehow like in this case, if it is not working, then at least you can, you know, revert the, the changes by restoring the original script behind the, the command. So that, that that's uh, uh, something that we uh, use uh, in uh, uh, use uh, uh, alias for in in the in the batch uh, scripting. Very powerful concept. Like I mentioned, most of the time, if we have some function and uh, if we want to execute it, uh, we we can you know just define a particular. Uh, command for it and sometimes it is really helpful for us to hide the 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 actual executable from the user because we don't want to expose uh, uh, the the actual executable to our user so we can use alias there as well so for example not in here let me see if i have yeah in the smart uh so what i'm going to do so you can see i have all that part uh, Parts which is available to to uh, 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 to my command prompt, uh, you can see as part of the 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 prompt. What I uh, let's see if we can uh, give. So I'm just going to alias is equal to. I'm going to say smart OS, and now what I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do um. Is fresh three debug all right and in there i have my let's see what's the what's the file name i do believe we have the file name. let me just go quickly and look at what i have in in my, my name yeah is it smart underscore os all right. Okay, am I doing something different? If I know what, all good. Now, if I just, you know, run smart OS, It's not picking my directory. All right, let me see. How about if I, you know, I just need to see if I can make it go this way. All right, so let's see. Yeah, now it's working. So there's another way we, we can uh, we can define the path. So at the moment, uh, uh, I'm not going to uh, talk about the path in this video. So there is an issue with with uh, with the path. It's not getting the path, but we can adjust the path. But right now, you can see I have actually I uh, uh, I have given uh, 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 an alias or or a, a name uh, to to my uh, built-in execute. Uh, sorry, not built-in binary executable, which is absolutely uh, different from what uh, I'm uh, I'm building. So that's why we, we can uh, 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 we can hide our our 
uh, actual uh, uh, libraries or or the binaries from from the end user if we don't want to want them to you know to know what is uh, behind these 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 executable just from the security perspective so that that's another use case uh, for for uh, for the alias as well so hopefully now you understand the concept uh, of the alias obviously we're going to use it again a lot uh, uh, in our future development but if you have any question please feel free to post happy to to answer in the in the comment uh, otherwise uh, like the video uh, and i'm going to see you in the in the next one thanks for watching stay tuned